this. This is um, Donald Trunkey and his team's work um, on the trimodal distribution of deaths. Uh, this was probably one of the first population-based uh, studies of deaths in a, in a region. It was in San Francisco. They did autopsies on everyone who died for a period of a year. About just over 400 people died. And they looked at why people died and when they died. And, and the when turned into this trimodal death distribution that I'm sure you've all heard of. It's in ATLS and has been forever. And there's a few things on this. The first thing I want to say is, is um, that kind of research, this epidemiological research, is so important to setting up systems of care. And this led directly to organized trauma care across the world. But certainly that's what started it off in, in America. So that was in the 1970s. And uh, after that, America developed uh, organized trauma systems. And about 20 years later, um, uh, Dimitriades and his team in Los Angeles repeated a very similar study over three years, so a lot more patients, about 4,000 patients, and they looked at the same thing. And what they found was that a third peak had gone. And this is because, really, of the effectiveness of those trauma systems. That uh, you know, you got patients into organized trauma systems, and those late deaths disappeared, and actually the early deaths started dropping. But what you probably notice still, 50% of these deaths were, were happening uh, before patients even got into hospital.